me. The most important thing oh. is not to live, but to have a reason to live. That's a quote from Jean Jono, a French writer. Thank you, Chloe. Uh, she asked me when I started up the game once, when I hadn't quite gotten the stream up and running yet, um, if we were friends. And I told her yes, and ever since then she's been just looking increasingly distressed. This poor, poor girl. But here, let's go. Wait! Whoop. Are you sure you should continue? Maybe... Maybe we should leave things as they are. As you wish. Poor thing. I'm pretty sure it gives me the option to let her go, and I do intend At on doing that. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Madam President! Please! Madam Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President! Please! Madam President! Madam President! A convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army Don't mind me having issues again. My cat was bothering me. I have me. no information on that at this time. Please! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Madam President! Please! Many believe that androids are a new form of intelligent life. Do you have any comment? That's ridiculous. Next question, please. You couldn't even answer the Madam question, President. woman. You have to answer the question. Please. To Madam answer President. the question. You can't just say that's ridiculous. What can you tell us about the assault that happened last night? The FBI raided an abandoned freighter in Detroit at 10.45 p.m. yesterday. Several thousand androids were destroyed or captured. Our forces are now combing the streets to ensure that none got through the net. We are going to find them one by one and destroy them. Thank you. That will be all. God, I hate that. You have to at least answer the questions. You can't just, that's ridiculous. No, you answer the question. If you don't think they're intelligent life, tell us why. Oh, I remember this part. Connor, this is stupid. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead. This is really stupid. That is a stupid gate. This is all stupid. This is so flashy. <laughs> this is so flashy. Why are we like this? I'm trying to find a good balance with the volume, too. We'll see what happens. 
I kind of have to have my microphone a little bit off to the side because it crackles anytime it's close to my other electronics. So that's fun as well. Here we go. Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Yeah, okie dokie. La la la. This is just so overkill on all of this. This is all very reminiscent of uh, the building an uh, the iRobot movie as well. With the giant model in the center of the building. Or the giant statue, you know what I mean. Ugh, goodness. Sorry, my uh... You can't hear them, but my cats are causing problems. <laughs> Hello, everyone. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validating. Access authorized. All right. Okay, there's a lot of bees. Thank goodness there's a lot of bees. Please indicate your identity and destination. Agent 54, level sub 49. Voice recognition validated. This is only voice recognition. Okay. Hey, Monzi. Uh, today's been slow going, but it's not been bad. The last boss leaves in Having 20 a bit minutes. of a fight that with my cat. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move know. fast. <laughs> All right, we gotta get to the bus. Are you alright? I'm, I'm I'm really cold. You'll feel better now. Thanks. Nice. I still need to do my taxes. I've been putting it off. I hate actually filling out all the paperwork. Oh, there's a gun. Give me a choice. Nope. Where are you hiding that? You don't have anything back there. Well, I it's guess you have here. your bag, I guess. No, please don't hurt me. Stop. 
See, I don't pay to do my taxes. I use a free service. It's never let me down yet. I also don't have a lot to, like, do, I guess. Stay close to me. Most folks use paid services when they own properties and stuff like that. Or multiple cars and, among other things, different types of insurance. Multiple jobs. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Look at them, they're like rats. The more you look, the more you buy. Oh, we don't have to spend the night here. Freezing my nuts off. Freezing my nuts off. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Come on, get moving. Gotta take it a little bit at a time while they're not looking. God, this just sucks. We can't help him, Alice. The soldiers are Nope, we have to help him. We have to save Luther. We can't leave Dad. We can't leave Dad behind. This is gonna be interesting. Hey, buddy. This is a mistake. I'm human. I, I just want to go home. My wife is expecting me, and we're gonna. Got orders to check all civilians. No, no, please. Jesus. I have a weapon. What do you mean, find a weapon? I have a weapon. Uh, I guess I have to find a quiet weapon. Okay. She has a gun. Bonk. Cal! <laughs> you shouldn't have risked your life to save me. Where's Alice? She's hiding nearby. Kara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. It's we'll a Jerry! Alice! Luther! I thought oh. you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they caught me along the way. You gotta go, guys. Come on. Talk later. We're close, but we don't have much time. Man, Jesus. Okay, high risk. Gotta wait till he passes. Oh, Jesus. Go. God, this all just sucks. Like, genuinely, this all sucks. Like, the only reason any of these androids, like, freaked out and hurt anybody in the first place is because they were being abused. And, uh, I'm sorry, but same. Fucking same. Start choking me out or beating me with a bat or burning me with cigarettes, I'm gonna hit you back. Look, it's a bus. But it's not the bus we need. A checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time, we could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Let's do the checkpoint. Come on. I don't like humans who carry guns. They make me nervous. Just stay calm. Make me nervous too. I grew up in Texas, I know. ID, please.
We do realize there's a curfew. Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? My daughter slept over at a friend's house. We went to pick her up. We're on our way home now. He suspects something. Calm down. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She's cold, bro. She's sick. A bad flu. We just need to get her home. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> he knows Kara. Oh Look shit! Oh no! Fuck! I didn't mean to hit B. Do it. No! Fuck! God damn it! That's not what I meant to do. Shit! <laughs> oh no! That's literally not what I meant to do. Oh no. I'm so used to hitting B for everything. He just wanted to give me back this. Oh no. <laughs> okay. No. I feel bad. I can't do that. No. <laughs> I'm gonna have to redo some of this. <laughs> I feel bad for that one. I don't... Ah. I gave the kid a gun too. <laughs> I normally I wouldn't do this, but I feel bad. I don't know what happened to me last time. My behavior was not compliant. Chloe, you're fine. Please accept my apology. You don't need to apologize. You are fine. You are fine. You're having a crisis. You're okay, though. You are okay. I promise. Anyways, Chloe is perfect. We love Chloe. Okay. God, I felt so bad for that. That was so awful. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Let's see where it drops me. We'll try that again. <laughs> no, stop it. My kitty cat would like to say hi, but she keeps getting in the way. She cannot climb on me right now. Okay, we're we're at the checkpoint. Okay, holy God. I can't believe you're so violent. <laughs> We're good. We're fine. We were doing great. A checkpoint. We have passports. It should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time. We could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Oh, man. <laughs> nope, we're just gonna keep what I'm just gonna pay better attention. I saw there was a time limit and my finger just hit things because I'm a panicky bitch. <laughs> well, this is why I can't nervous. have a gun. <laughs> they make me nervous. Just stay calm, alright, Luther? Don't do anything until I say so. <laughs> ID, please. Sitting at my laptop wiggling my mouse every once in a while. Are you at work? <laughs> You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely <laughs> necessary. Cooper. Where are you going? My daughter slept over at a friend's house. Oh, okay. We went to pick her up. <laughs> We're on our way home now. He suspects something. Stay calm. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? But it's like freaking cold outside. She's sick. A bad flu. We just need to get her home. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around, and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Okay, I gotta, I gotta not hit something in a panic. Hey, wait a minute. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. Thank you. You're welcome. Oh boy. <laughs> B -B -B. <laughs> oh man. Okay, we're gonna be swapping back and forth between characters Detroit, over and over throughout this last section. Are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the deviants, the one they call Marcus is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President.
Yeah, it's basically Hillary Clinton. Oh, we had a glitch. There was an android inside of an android. It's wild. I, like, they're doing this like it's a news camera, and I was still controlling him. If I lose Simon during this, I'm gonna be so mad. Probably not any uh, to be here. Oh boy. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting <laughs> peacefully. that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. I thought they were going to run over them. Yeah, I wouldn't put it past them, to be completely honest. Because they're about to shoot the shit out of a bunch of us. God, they shot Marcus twice. Are you gonna open fire on unarmed protesters? Oh boy. There's just a lot going on right now. <laughs> At least public opinion is high. Yes, Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. Okay. As long as we can. Connor! It's the boy. Wow, that's a lot Stay of androids. Sure. Oh, I forgot the camera, damn it. Okay, that's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> he doesn't like the big gun. He just wants the small one. <laughs> I love it. God. It's gotta be spooky, though, to have the exact same face as everyone around you. So let's convert the androids, but it's not letting me touch anybody. Oh, no, okay. I had to go a little further. Okay. <laughs> Step back, Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. Get the fuck out of here, sixty. Spitting image.
The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. Okay. The last bus for the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are suspended until further notice. We don't have tickets. They won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? Find a way to leave. Find tickets. Okay. I do believe this requires us stealing from some folks. <laughs> They're checking everyone. It won't take them long to find us. We need to get out of here. Security check. Okay. Gotta stay away from the temperature gauges. Alice, where the fuck you going? I think Oliver likes you. Is she yours? Yes. She's adorable. Okay, you can't. No, stop it. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Da -da -da. I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I, I was Shit, sure. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. I'm not Excuse giving him back. I'm an evil person. I'm sorry. Somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it, and oh, never mind. Nope, I'm keeping them. No. No. Sorry. No. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. We have to find a safe place for all of them. These people are just freaking out because of fucking so android sorry, stuff, honey. but they, they're not I'm getting hurt. Right the androids are the ones being hurt. They're not gonna get killed. They are not getting killed. I guarantee it. And they just died. <laughs> Come on, guys. What do we do now? Oh, we gotta get up to the bus. Okay. Through all these freaking people! Come on. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. Okay, go ahead. Yep, nope, sorry. <laughs> Yay, bus! Let's go! Let's get out the hell out of here! What's going to happen to that family and their baby? They're fine. Don't worry about it. Die because of us? You had to make a choice, Alice. It was them or us? I'm sorry, but those people are going to be just freaking fine. Absolutely fine. They did not literally just die. They're humans. None of the freaking humans in this game that are just the bystanders get hurt. I know better. So they're gonna feel a little guilty about it, but these places literally have, like, some place they can stay. Humans are going to die. It's cold. They have a place to stay! They were trying to go visit her mother. They have a home there. They're fine. They can just go home. Their home's not being hurt right now. This was... They don't... They think they don't have a safe place because of the android revolution. But the thing is, is the androids are not fighting random civilians. They're fighting the police. 
in the military and they're doing it in contained areas. They're fine. <laughs> We've got Androids to the are stealing on, kids. <laughs> okay, okay. Hey, help me! Yay, it's my boyfriend. Mark is just out here bleeding. It's fine. That should do it. Just making a barricade. I all know that's not gonna stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. Let's go, boys. I love how he didn't even put the f the flame next to the wood. It just started. It's fine. It's fine. Okay, support your people. Do 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 do. Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. I love how these people are like freaking out about something that they themselves have made. Like, it's the humans that made the androids. It's like now they're just terrified of their own children. Many of our people have fallen. The humans have no pity for those who are different. over here. Oh, it's magazine. Okay. Oh, <laughs> we did that. <laughs> Whoop. Cool. Okay. Da -da. I'm gonna go over here, then up there. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. <laughs> I lost all contact with the people at the camps. I can't hear their voices anymore. Maybe the humans have scrambled our network. Maybe they just can't get through. Terrified of my children, so you don't have kids yet, do you? I don't think so. Did I make the right choices? Maybe we could have avoided all of this. You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. Scared no of the hypothetical what ones. Now, we're making history. <laughs> it's 
one of those. Now I just have to ask because we'll, uh, one of my quite young co-workers has a baby and I didn't realize it until recently. <laughs> Let me, let me, let me. Marcus? Okay. Come to talk to you, Marcus. I don't want to talk to you, FBI agent. Come on. You have my word. We won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I'm on arm, Marcus. Yeah, but the guys behind you aren't. Oh boy. I need to hear what he has to say. Let's go for it. Let's go what if for they it. Kill you? I thought he was lying too. He showed me pictures of the baby. And that's a chance I'll have to take. Took the day off for her birthday. No one of the babies at work has a baby. I was very shocked. I shouldn't be too shocked though. My mom was still like very young when she had me. And my sister was young when she had her first kid, so doesn't surprise me anymore, I guess. Okay. In a few minutes, the troops will be ordered to charge. None of you will survive. It'll all be over. You can avoid that, Marcus. What do you mean? Surrender. Surrender, and I give you my word, your life will be spared. You'll be detained, but none of you will be destroyed. What happened to the other androids demonstrating in the camps? Unfortunately, there were no journalists around to help save them. You're it. You're the last remaining deviants. Are you asking me to betray my people? I am offering you the chance to save your people. You're not walking out of here, Marcus. The only thing you can save now are the lives of those around you. I'm not afraid to die. If I have to give my life for what I believe in, then I won't have lived in vain. You could be free, Marcus. How? To live among the humans. You could have what you've always dreamed you of. You just told me I'd be detained. You're lying to me. The lives of your people. Freedom for you. All you have to do is say the word. I'd rather die here than betray my people. Well, you just signed your own death warrant. Yeah, no. I think we were all surprised, honestly. But yeah, that was a lot. That was a lot to uh, unpack when he told us. Uh, can't believe this Fed thought I was gonna betray everybody. That's just dumb. I've seen people who go that route, though. What happened, Marcus? What did he say? And it's absolutely just bonkers. The humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Ugh. Kaboomski. That was quick. Ah, Connor. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. <laughs> but I'm not a deviant. 
I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? <laughs> all right. All right. You win. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, that bee again. That almost... <laughs> That, that got me into trouble last time, making me hit B constantly. Oh, fuck, 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 fuck. Fucking damn. Hold it. Oh, this is. <laughs> Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. <laughs> Here we go. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. Question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. <laughs> I knew that too. Duck season, wabbit season. <laughs> <laughs> My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your no, fault, baby. Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son, too. Shoot I would the shit exactly out of that motherfucker. <laughs> Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- Bam! <laughs> yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. What's actually really funny is that if you answer any of those questions wrong, well, Hank shoots you instead. Do. And then I think he ends up getting killed by the fake Connor after he, Con the fake Connor is just like, yes, look, we're friends. Oh, it, at the end of the game, if you're evil Connor, you actually uh, end up fighting with Hank near the end of it at, try, while you're trying to uh, shoot Marcus with a sniper rifle. <laughs> Da -da -da -da. Wake up! 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 It's got to be so wild to have the same freaking face as everyone around you. at the border. So we completely skipped the uh, section where Kara and the others are at one of the android concentration camps. It's so easy to die in that section too.
Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. Oh boy. This way, please. Doing temperature checks. We're trapped. What are we gonna do, Kara? Don't worry, Alice. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. We can't get through, Kara. We both know that. I'll think of something. There's got to be a way out of this. We can't let them stop us. Not that we're so close. All that matters now is you and Alice. I can save you, Kara. No. No, find another way. If there's no other way, I'll do it. Yeah, I'm not... No, that's, that's not an option, Luther. Don't be silly. Next, please. Walk around. What are we gonna do here? Hey, it's Rose. Rose. Jerry. Jerry. You risked your life to save us, Carl. Go ahead. If you and the little girl need me. Next, please. I'll be there. Let's see. Oh. Okay. Wait for me. I won't be long. Where the hell do you think you're going? My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. Dude, chill. Oh, God. Oh, boy. Jesus. Like, I can't help but wonder if they just shot a person out there. Like, a human person instead of, like, an android person. If it was a human, they deserved it. <laughs> We saw the Jericho raid on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You'll be safe with him. Oh, boy. Rose. If anything should happen, I'll be there, Kara. You're leaving Detroit? Ooh, game froze. They're searching for androids door to door. Yeah, it'll we fix itself in a second. Someone turned us in. No, Rose isn't an android. She's just been helping folks. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. Yeah, next time I get a choice, it'll fix itself. It happens all the time. They're checking for androids. We won't make it through. You have to. You know what they'll do if they catch you. What's happening with Marcus? 
He's protesting peacefully outside one of the android camps. Whatever happens now, he's already made the history books. More hugs, please. These guys have been through enough. I like Rose. Okay. Anything else to do in here before we walk out? Nope. Cool. Let's go. I couldn't understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. Thank you, that's very sweet of you. I just hope people will realize that one day. We've got our we've got our backup plan here. I didn't want to ask Jerry for help because uh Yep, yeah, nope, I'm sacrificing nobody. Next, please. I didn't want to ask any of the other androids for help because they just immediately get killed and I can't do that. We're going to be fine. ID, please. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. <laughs> We're going to be fine. Welcome to Canada. Yeah. If it wasn't a peaceful uh, android march going on, if it was just all combat, all conflict, um, yeah, we would have been we would have been arrested and shot on sight. I just hope that uh, the Jerry ends up okay as well. The Jerry's are so sweet. They're a little weird, but they're sweet. Interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. God, this is just such a mess. What oh, fuck? Oh, shit. God damn it. I... Okay, I gotta pay attention. <laughs> Might not be doing a lot of talking through this section. I have to make sure Simon gets out of this alive. I have to save the boyfriend. Damn it! <sighs> yeah, no, I've I've got to pay attention. I'm doing so bad already.
Okay, okay, okay. Oh, I know what's gonna happen. Okay, okay. I got I got it, I got it. There were other options that I could unlock, and I don't know what they are. But I'm not sacrificing myself. Thanks, Michael. Back to you in the studio. W w w wait a minute. Something's happening. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Hold on just a little while longer. Everything will be all right. Everything will be all right. Fight on just a little while longer. Fight on just a little while longer. Pray on just a little while longer. Incredible. Everything the, the deviants. The deviants are singing. Everything will be alright. Sing on just a little while longer. Sing on just a little while longer. Sing on just a little while. Tell them to stand down. Yeah, Hillary Clinton gets convinced by us it all. Looks like. <laughs> yes, the military is withdrawing. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. I'm still just blown away how it just took a song. Got a bunch of skinless naked androids it, back there. We did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us.
They want you to speak to them, Marcus. <laughs> Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Oh no, someone's infiltrating my boy. <laughs> have to find the big button that goes foom. <laughs> Amanda? Amanda? What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! God, this poor boy. He's only been free for a few hours. <laughs> Where's the button? Where's the button? Where's the button? There it is. I have to go touch the button and make it go boom. Kamski knew that somebody would pull some bullshit with one of his androids. Nope, 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 you don't you dare. <laughs> it didn't take me that long to get over here. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Like, if you don't make it Humans in time, are both our creators and Connor our shoots him right in the back tomorrow, of the head. <laughs> we must make them our partners. Maybe even one. One day our friends. Ah, stop freezing. No. But the time for anger is over. Damn it. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance. My game crashed. You fuckers. Okay, hold on. <laughs> Trust the game about all artificial intelligence and androids to have technical difficulties. Oh god, where's it gonna drop me? God, my neighbors and their motorcycle going through now. Just heard something go zoom. I am making sound effects today, don't mind me. <laughs> I use AI to do my job. Okay, so the main issue I have with the quote unquote AI stuff these days. Oh. Hello. Let's see what decisions you'll make today. Hi, Chloe. Uh, I don't like the art AI stuff because Remember, it you decide the scrapes fate of from other people's artwork and, can die. you know, it's basically so just stealing from people at that point. And I do not approve of that as an artist. So, anywho, we're not getting into that topic. <laughs> but why is my controller not functioning? Okay. All right, all right, all right. Let's see where it drops us. Okay, okay, this isn't bad. This is fine. You did it, Marcus. But yeah, <laughs> I love how this man's just been free for a few hours and he's still getting like... This is a great day for our people. Yeah, I, it's not just a lot of fear mongering. I have found Don't multiple have friends of mine that have had their stuff scraped and it's just stealing from them. That is what it's doing. And I do not agree with it. So, what fate? 
I'm just lucky enough that my art's so minuscule in the grand scheme of things that I'm not seeing it pop up anywhere. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Uh, that part, no, I agree with, but... I don't know, I guess I see enough of the AI art bros on Twitter saying how... Look how hard I've worked by putting in a bunch of words into a generator and it's stealing artwork styles from Amanda. other people that have already done the work for me. Amanda! Instead of, you know, picking up a fucking pencil. What? What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. My issue is that There's I'm losing out on commissions because people think that the AI stuff you, can you do can't it better. Do that. I'm afraid I can, Connor. So that's Don't have any taking potential customers away from me as well. I actually had one guy tell you me explicitly that, well, an AI oh, style would be better than what you can do, but, you know, I figured I'd come rub it in your face anyways, so fuck that guy. There's got to be a way. Loki, stop it. We're not getting into this conversation. <laughs> I will get angry. God. Loki, leave your fucking sister alone. Jesus Christ, get off. I'm gonna try and fight her. Now I'm just cranky. We're not getting into this conversation. Now I'm just cranky. where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive, and now, we are free! The uh, unanimated standing stock still m mannequins here are kind of unnerving with all the shouting. could only afford to animate the small group in the front. <laughs> it's over. Let's just get a move on, guys. Let's go find Rose. She's there with us. There's also so many endings to this game. Like, if... If your approval rating is bad enough with Marcus, 
uh, North takes over and half the crew dies. <laughs> it's a violent revolution and like almost nobody makes it out alive. Yeah, that was the end. I got I got what's considered one of the good endings. I think there's a post credit scene as well. Hey, how are you doing? Nice to see you in the chat, Emma. How are you doing today? We just finished this after my game crashed and I had to start a section over again. And I accidentally killed somebody and uh, had to start over again. <laughs> I've I've been having a rough time with the QTEs today. <laughs> oh man. I kind of want to go back at some point and like do the chapters in a different way, but this is the most positive outcome, I believe. We lost the least amount of people. Actually, I don't think we lost any of the main cast, so... Well, I'm glad you stopped by. Yeah, this one... It's been a while since I've been able to finish the game because my old computer couldn't play it and stream at the same time, so... This is, uh... It's been an experience. It's the last time I played it was on console. They didn't die, you dingus! <laughs> okay, okay. That human family with the baby... We don't find out anything about them, but I can guarantee you they did not die. Because, again, they lived in Detroit, they had home there, and they, were, they even said they were going to visit the wife's mother in Canada. They could have just gone home. They're fine. They literally all got cold and died. <laughs> Monty, you're such an extremist. <laughs> I work my hardest to make sure Simon lived because Simon is my boyfriend. I don't care what David Cage says. <laughs> I I made sure not to get uh, railroaded into the romance with North either. Like I'm I'm okay with North as a character, but I didn't like that you're nice to her once and then immediately it's in a railroaded into a romance. I can't handle that. I did, however, uh, <laughs> I killed the shit out of Todd. <laughs> I forgot it actually killed him. Ooh, here we go. I thought I just shot him and he ended up injured because, you know, you don't kill Leo whenever you bonk his head. He just goes to the hospital and comes back better. I forgot that I'd never actually shot Todd before, so I didn't realize it actually killed him, killed him. But it's fine. It's fine. Hug the boy. Hug the boy. Hug the boy. Oh, I had Luther with me too. Yeah, we completely bypassed the um, the camp scene and everything, so didn't have to worry about that. And I refused to sacrifice Luther at all. I refused to sacrifice anybody, honestly. It's like, I, I would rather be a little selfish, but... I didn't want to, like, get random people killed for no reason. Although I still do wonder what happened to that Jerry that was with us at the border. The Jerry's are sweet. I don't know if there's anything else after the credits here, but I think these credits go on forever. Don't mind me, I'm just stretching a little bit. might do some solo blood hunt after this though just to shake it up a little bit and keep going for a little while longer and we're just gonna go bypassing this I can't sit through the credits I'm I get too antsy god there's so much so much to do <laughs> there's so much that can happen
Whee! And we all lived. <laughs> Hi, Chloe. There's something I need to tell you. As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? Anyone who doesn't let Chloe go is a monster. Like, it'll be sad not seeing her anymore if you start a new game or anything, but I can't, I can't, I have to let her go. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you.